From bulging biceps like they were taken off of Hercules himself, to a chiseled chest that's tough enough to stop a train in its tracks. Today, we're going to be talking about Alan Richson and how he prepared for his iconic role. So how did he get absolutely shredded for his role in Reacher Season 2? I'm on Reacher now, and uh, I had to put on some size for that, about 30 pounds. And I learned a lot in that process uh, about longevity and working out in a way that prevents injury but, but achieves growth. Wait, did I say Jack Reacher? He's more like jacked Reacher at this point. Now, if you're not familiar with the show, let me break it down to you real quick. One. Reacher is based on a series of novels by Lee Child, which follows the adventures of Jack Reacher, a former military police officer turned drifter who gets caught up in all sorts of trouble. Why? Well, it all started with him trying to right wrongs and solve mysteries. Now, you may recognize Alan Richson from his roles in The Hunger Games, Titans, or Blue Mountain State, because this is the man who stepped into the shoes of this iconic character after Tom Cruise. But this time around, we're getting the actual Jack Reacher from the books, that huge six foot five hunk of a man who towers over anybody that ever crosses. So naturally this time, instead of Tom Cruise, Alan Richson was given the responsibility to bring this iconic character to life on screen. When so many people are aware of who Reacher is and have their own idea and want to see that come to life, there's a lot of conversations about, you know, what this, uh, yeah, how to shape this character. So, yeah. And we're all more than thankful for it. But as you might imagine, getting in shape to play a character like Jack Reacher is no joke. Sure, Alan Richson is already pretty tall and suitable for the role as is. But this is Jack Reacher we're talking about. So it took a ton of hard work, dedication, and discipline for Richson to get in shape for this role. And oh boy, he's had quite a drastic transformation from season one. So where do I begin? I'm going in the arms. And then at the end of every workout, I always do some form of cardio. That's the thing that most guys skip, but heart health is just as important as the aesthetic. Well, let's start with the basics, nutrition. As we all know, abs are made in the kitchen, and Alan Richson's diet was a big part of his success in getting jacked for the role. According to an interview he did with Men's Health, he was consuming around 4,500 calories a day during filming, with a focus on protein and healthy fats to fuel his workouts and help him in muscle recovery. It's, it's a full-time job to eat enough Wow. to put on 30 pounds. I had an assistant whose only job was to bring me food. It was like a conveyor belt of smoothies and protein. He also made sure to keep his water intake high because staying hydrated is key for maintaining energy and preventing any kind of injuries. Of course, injuries are a big no-no in this industry. So you see, it's not just about what you eat, it's also about how you train. And for Alan Richson, that meant putting in some serious time at the gym. In that same men's health interview, he revealed that he was working out six days a week. Uh, a killer uh, tricep workout for me personally. Focusing mostly on strength training exercises like deadlifts, squats, and bench presses. He also incorporated a lot of functional training movements like sled pushes and battle rope slams, all to help him improve his overall athleticism and agility. But most importantly, Alan Richson made sure to get plenty of rest and recovery time. He talked about this in the interview with Men's Journal saying, I'm in bed by 9 p.m. and up by 4.30 a.m. to start training. You need to get that sleep in. And he wasn't just talking about the sleep you get at night. Basically, he was talking about giving the body a rest so it recovers and is ready to go to war the next day. So he also used things like cold therapy, stretching, and massage to help his body recover from the intense workouts. Now, with all of that in mind, what did Alan Richson's workout routine actually look like? Well, it's hard to say for sure because he hasn't shared a lot of specifics. But based on interviews and social media posts, it seems like he was doing a lot of compound movements like squats and deadlifts. Of course, with plenty of upper body work like bench presses and pull-ups too. I mean, just look at that upper body. Body. How could he have achieved that without those exercises? That's not all though. He also incorporated some more unconventional exercises like sandbag carries and farmer's walks, probably to help improve his grip strength and overall endurance. And the results speak for themselves. Now, I don't need to tell you all of this if you've already seen promotional material or trailers for Reacher Season 2. But this show is out. It's so good. I binged four episodes last night, which is rare because I have a lot of things to see. But I mean, you already got renewed for a second season. You probably already know that Alan Richson looked 
looks absolutely shredded, with his arms bulging and his abs chiseled, looking like he could take down a small army with his bare hands. But here's the thing, as impressive as his physique is, it's not the most important thing about his performance as Jack Reacher. Sure, it's cool to see an actor who's clearly put in the work to embody a character, but what really matters is whether or not he can truly bring this character to life on screen. Mentally, physically, if I'm not prepared, you know, if I'm not on those pages and like knowing exactly what these scripts uh, are saying every day, you know. Yeah, season one was pretty good. And from early reviews, it seems like Alan Richson is doing just that. Now, one thing that's been praised about his performance is his ability to convey Jack Reacher's unique combination of strength and vulnerability. Reacher's a character who's been through a lot of trauma and has had a lot of emotional baggage. And it takes a skilled actor to be able to portray that in a way that feels real and not forced. There with Joe stuff looking for his paperwork, what would you do? Get lost before his giant brother found me. Right. You'd move fast. Keep the briefcase, dump the garment bag. But based on what I've seen so far personally, it looks like Alan is up to the task. Another aspect of his performance that's been praised is his physicality. By that I mean how similar he is to the character in the books. If you're an old fan of Lee Child's Reacher series, this is a character who's known for being a total badass in a fight. And Alan Richson definitely looks the part. Two. But it's not just about looking tough. He's also able to move in a way that's both graceful and powerful, making his fight scenes a joy to watch. So all in all, it seems like Alan Richson's hard work paid off in the end. Not only was he able to transform his body and become a Goliath who nobody would dare mess with unless they were stupid, he brought a fan favorite character to life on screen after Tom Cruise's version, which disappointed a lot of Reacher fans. Now, I have nothing against Tom Cruise. He's a total badass in his own regard, but he basically has has no similarities with Jack Reacher. In fact, he's the polar opposite of Jack Reacher from the books. Now, with Richson, he truly brought the original character to life. Uh, something in his arm at one point, and he was, he's, he's big, too big for handcuffs, but he's not quite as big as a semi. Uh, but yeah. I, you gained 30 pounds for this. All the while staying disciplined and focused throughout the process. But what can we learn from his experience? Well, for one thing, it's clear that getting in shape takes a lot of work. There are no shortcuts or magic pills that can do the work for you. Three sets of 10 times, you know, I do six sets. The hypertrophy begins between 15 and 25 reps, and we, we take that. It takes a combination of healthy eating, consistent training, and enough rest for recovery to see real results. But perhaps more importantly, Alan Richson's journey shows us that anything is possible if you're willing to put in the work. Well, the good thing is you get to eat a lot when you're bulking. <laughs> yeah. So a lot of pizzas, a lot of, a lot of cold cereal. Ketchup. Um, yeah, a lot of ketchup, <laughs> acetic acid. Um. Whether you're trying to get in shape for a role, achieve your own fitness goal, or just feel better in your own skin, Skin. The key is to stay focused, stay disciplined, and never give up. So if you're feeling inspired by Alan Richson's transformation, take a page out of his book and get to work. It may not be easy, but it'll be worth it in the end. And who knows, maybe someday you'll be the one inspiring others with your own incredible transformation story. That's all for now on how Alan Richson got jacked for Jack Reacher Season 2.